Happy Earth Day, forest friends! What an exciting day. We get to celebrate our Earth, our forests, all of the water here on this planet. It's been such a good day for me, and I'm really enjoying being outside, as I hope that you will be today, too. And um, I wanted to share a few different things with you on this video today. The first is a story that I just wrote this morning. And the second is a story that I just found this morning. It's really wonderful. It's called Whisper from the Woods, and I think it'd be perfect to read on Earth Day. And then the last little bit is going to be an activity that involves a scavenger hunt and building. And so um, we'll get started first with the story I wrote this morning. And I've been noticing here that in my backyard that all of the snow has melted since last week and that everything is just really springing up and springing to life again. And I notice more flowers are blooming and everything's just really coming to life. And so that's kind of what the story um, that I wrote is about. And it's called Springing Up. So here it is. Wake up, wake up, young child. You've been sleeping for a long while. The weather is warm and you've been growing your energy long enough. Wake up now and explore. It's time to dance, young child. It's time to dance. It's time to let the breeze take you wherever it may. And like your leaves in the wind and the twirling of your branches, it's time to dance. It's time to sing, young child. It's time to sing. Your voice has rested long enough. It's time for the world to hear your song. It's time they hear you sing. It's time to eat, young child. It's time to eat. The sun will nuzzle our cheeks as we fill our bellies with earth sweet. It's time to eat. It's time to play, young child. It's time to play. It's time to move your bodies this way and that way. It's time for fun, young child. It's time to play. It's time to rise, young flower. It's time to rise. It's time to reach toward the sunshine right now, and that would be wise. It's time to rise. It's time to paint. It's time to paint. Let's watch how the berries drop to the sidewalk and beautifully create artwork of purple and red. It's time to paint. It's time to fly, young child. It's time to fly. It's time to leave your nest. Time to flap your wings. Time to soar to new heights. It's time to fly. And that is our story called Springing Up. I'm just really inspired by everything that's been waking up in, in my backyard lately. And I've been really enjoying seeing those flowers rise and those animals beginning to sing and eat and play. Um, and so the next story we're going to hear today, it's called Whisper from the Woods. And I really love the artwork in this particular book. I love that I can see the woodpecker and some deer and even the faces on the trees and the chipmunks and the flowers, and I thought it would be a really perfect day for Earth Day. So let's see what's inside. In the darkness of the forest, in a quiet unlit corner, a seed fell from the branch of a very old tree. That tree looks like just a young baby, and that seed looks like a young baby. It landed on the green moss and rolled into a dip in the soft ground. Can you see the dip right here in the soft ground? It's almost going to make it in. And there, it began to grow. There it is, growing up. When the old tree looked down and saw the tiny seedling below, she moved her branches ever so slowly aside, and a tiny ray of light slipped into the bottom of the dim forest floor. Ah, so she made room for this little tree to have some sunlight. The seedling reached up to touch the light with small pale leaves, just like in our story earlier, rising up to touch the sunshine. Then he grew and grew. A 
As time went on, the other seeds fell and began to grow. Each time the old tree moved her branches so that they too might grow up beside her. She's making room for all of them to get sunlight. Wow, look at all those trees growing. Year passed year, and they grew tall, straight, and strong. Ooh, they're getting bigger, they're getting thicker. All day long in warm summer breezes, these trees, young and old, would lean together and whisper, sharing thoughts and passing the wisdom of their many years. In winter, asleep they'd stand, hand reached hand, roots gently touched underground. One day, the old tree sighed, and that night, in a terrible storm, She fell and leaned against her first seedling. See her resting upon the other tree, which grew from her. And I see owls and some deer running around. I wonder what will happen. And the branch that held her was steady and strong. And when the rains came, the old tree slipped quietly to the ground at the feet of those young trees, her children. They covered her with their leaves and sheltered her from the storms. And in the spring, the first seedling dropped a seed to the forest floor. It rolled into a dip in the soft ground and there began to grow. Hmm. There's this other one growing out of the dip in the ground. That's the end of our story. It's a beautiful story for Earth Day. So great. I really just do love these colorful pictures. Well, I think it's time that we'll move on to a fun activity for today. And for today's activity, the first thing that we're going to do is to find a journey stick in our yard or a nearby forest and ask if it, it will guide us on our scavenger hunt. It's the following items. Now, our journey stick can be really long, really, 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 really long, long enough to be a walking stick or even longer, or it can be really short, or it can be just the right size to be a guiding wand. It's up to you, whichever Whichever size stick you feel will guide you to all of your scavenger items. And the items we're searching for are three round rocks, six sticks the size of your thumb, three leaves, and one other nature item of your choice. Maybe two if you see really cool things that you want to add into it. And out of these items, once we've searched long and hard to find them, we're going to be making a gift for one of our many favorite animals that cross through our backyard. And I thought really hard about who I wanted to create an art for today. And then I decided that I'm feeling inspired and really grateful for the honeybees that have been pollinating my food and flowers. And so I made um, this piece of art that I'm actually going to show you here. I made it for the honeybees and I made this to leave for them in my backyard. Each time they fly by it, they'll know that they're really loved. And that is all for our video today. I'll see y'all back live for a few more songs, maybe even a little bit of drumming.